Rito. Yo, what's good? What's good, man? I am here to pick you up. All right, cool. I'm coming out right now. All right, bro. Peace. All right. I am on my way to pick up Rito Brown. Rito Brown, if you don't know, he's been on the Little Rail show, um, as well as just being a social media comedian. Hello? Um, I'm pregnant. Um, hello? Psych! I uh, got you with one of those uh, fake voicemail thingies like old people used to do in like the 90s and shit. Um, leave a message and I'll get back to you when uh, when I got some availability. But just remember, I prayed you, this really isn't like, this ain't me, this is a voicemail. So leave a message after the beat, all right? He's one of the guys I don't even like really saying social media and comedian because he's really, really funny. Um, and one of the first dudes that you know I didn't know from the stage to do stuff on social media that was just I was like, oh, this this dude's gonna make it. He gonna he gonna be a star. So I'm excited to see um, what he does in here, man. Really laid back, chill dude, but funny as hell. So uh, let's see. It'd be real weird if uh, he get kicked out this car, boy. <laughs> Rito, what up, man? How you doing, baby? You doing? Put on that seatbelt, safety first. Let's get it. All right, man. Thank you so much for doing this show. Uh, uh, now I know you funny as hell. And you're one of my good, favorites out there. It. But in this car, all right, you got about a six-minute destination. Yep. You got 30-second pockets to make me laugh. Okay. And cool. you can only talk about what's around. Otherwise, okay. you get a strike. All right, bet. Let's all right. Do it. So we're gonna see if you can you can make it through. All right, this is my neighborhood, so I know all these people. <laughs> you know the people? I know all the people in the neighborhood, so we're going to be good around here. We'll see, man. Let me get this uh, this destination cracking. Let's get it. So you want to go to McDonald's? Yeah, I'm supposed to be working out. <laughs> since I got a ride, I was like, let me go get this McDonald's in. What, you you get the salads from there? Nah, hell no. I, you see, the reason why I don't get stomach aches at McDonald's because I still eat the nasty shit. <laughs> You don't, you're not supposed to let yourself get a two-week window. <laughs> I eat McDonald's every two weeks. So I don't mess up the window. <laughs> That's a word. All right, well, the, the real clock starts now. Let's get it. And uh, let's get to this destination, brother. Yeah, we just leaving the house right now. You know what I mean? This is a, uh, they got the back, the football field and all that stuff behind us and stuff, the college and shit. Them niggas make too much noise for a team that loses every week, yo. <laughs> Like they be loud as shit for a team that loses every goddamn week. That's the worst part of this neighborhood. Is our college sucks. <laughs> Terrible place. I run this every morning. Well, I run to McDonald's every morning. <laughs> so this path we're going now, we do this shit all the time. You like this area? Uh, it's kind of it's cool. Yeah, it's it's different. It's not like when I moved to LA, I wanted the the Compton feel a little bit. <laughs> because I'm not from out here. I wanted to count the field. I wanted to see a couple bloods and crisps, but out here you don't see nothing. You don't, you don't see too much. It's real quiet. You know, the white people stay in their house. You know, the black people don't, they, they don't come out and fuck with this shit at all. They go Jerry right there with the blue shirt. That's <laughs> Mr. Jerry. He teaches elementary, you know what I mean? <laughs> he don't come out much just for ice cream when the ice cream trucks come out and light jogs and shit. I've seen all these niggas when I run around. <laughs> you, can, you can see outside too? I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I saw, I saw oh, Jerry. Oh, y'all seen Mr. Jerry? I'm just making sure I was talking about people. I didn't even know he was going to We should have said hi to this nigga. <laughs> we should have said hi to this nigga. See that? These people at the bus stop, I don't know what's going on with them. They actually live there and shit. They changing for the morning. <laughs> They go there every morning, they change, throw their clothes on, go to work. There's a lot of homeless people out here. I did not know it was like that. Coming from Boston to LA, I did not know there was that many homeless people. You know they said that they used to ship like New York bums to LA. Oh. One-way tickets, right? <laughs> I'm 
be a dead ass series right now. They used to ship homeless people. They give them tickets to New York to come to LA one way to be homeless out here and shit. They did that shit in the 80s. That's why there's so many homeless people out here, nigga. Right? <laughs> Not the 80s, you got the top 10? Yeah, I, I like to find out shit. Like, I can't be around. There's too many homeless people under my bridge for me not to talk to these niggas and ask why they there. Like, do y'all live in the neighborhood? Y'all got family around this motherfucker? <laughs> like, imagine being homeless and your family lives around the fucking corner. <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy as fuck. There's Miss Judy right there at the bus stop. She always there talking to herself. She got her Jeezy glasses on and shit. Know the names, Miss Judy. They got when you run and you jog, everybody see you every morning. You gotta know your fucking neighborhood. You don't know your neighbors? Not like that. Oh, you can fucking crazy. I, I stayed away. You fucking crazy. I know everybody on the block. There's Miss Judy, the lady at the bus stop. There's Rose and, and James. They was the ones changing their clothes. <laughs> you gotta know your fucking neighborhood, man. That's how you don't get in trouble around this motherfucker. You got. You can't stop. Oh, I can't. I wish yeah, we're not here yet. You know, I, the, the problem is we've gone to McDonald's and everybody know that, but there's a Burger King across the street. I almost changed my fucking mind. <laughs> you trying to get out of this I was place? about to end the show quick. <laughs> they got the same shit. Like, yo, if I was Bur- if I was McDonald's, like Burger King got a fake Big Mac, but they ain't got the bread in the middle. <laughs> I'll go over there and slap the shit out them niggas. Like, if I was Ronald McDonald, nigga, I'd be like, yo, fuck all this clown shit. <laughs> Wipe the makeup off my face, like, yo, these niggas are stealing our shit. Like, how's that okay, nigga? <laughs> that shit ain't okay. Like, in comedy, you don't see a comic go up on the stage and be like, yo, you know, the last comic was just talking about cookouts. Let me tell y'all about my cookout. <laughs> hey, dude, you better not do that shit. Burger King's like, nah, nigga, we gonna be across the street with the same shit. <laughs> just call us something. Call us something different. And we the kings, nigga. It's like, how do you even take that name? <laughs> they using their last name, McDonald's, nigga. These niggas is like, no, nah, we the kings of burgers. And we sell chicken sandwiches, nigga. <laughs> Switched it up. Switched it up on the nigga, man. God damn. I know you want some. No, I can't believe we got here so quickly. You don't eat this shit? No, I'm trying to lose weight and I eat healthy and still gain weight. Nah, listen, ain't, ain't even nothing about losing the weight. It's about, uh, you gotta gain it first to lose that motherfucker. Man, that was a short ass distance. Should we I keep felt going? like you needed some more Let's time. Let's keep going. No, keep you going. you made it. Oh, I'm That's good. A, you, you good. I, I, oh, shit. I don't know how you picked such a quick route, but you made it. Hey, man, this is better than fucking Uber, to be honest <laughs> with you. Usually I sit in the back and don't talk to the nigga. <laughs> I don't sit in the back and don't talk to the nigga at all, but we good then. You got, you got some chuckles. You had a good uh, destination, and you made it. So you're going to get this cash. Uh, oh, shit. We do cash app in Venmo. Oh, the nigga so, don't matter. Uh, you can send me Venmo <laughs> right now so I can spend it in here. Nigga. <laughs> I got you. Um, thank you so much for doing this, man. This is Rito Brown. Uh, so, always amazing to, man, to do something with it's you. It's always a pleasure working uh, with you. And, and keep going, bro. Uh, I love it. you one of my faves out there. Let them know where they can find you. Anything you want to let them know. Hit them. Uh, you can find me, Rito Brown, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, and I'll, I'll be posting up more shows that are coming out. So stay tuned for that, too. Rita Brown, follow him. Preach.